guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles History of Leonardo figure set from Playmates Toys. That's right, for the holiday season, Playmates Toys has released this massive box set containing action figures of the leader of the turtles, Leonardo, as he has appeared throughout history in the many different incarnations of the TMNT franchise. So, let's go ahead and check out this massive new box set so we can see how all of the figures turned out on the inside of this box. First things first, as you can see, massive window box. I mean, this thing will take up some serious shelf space if you're planning to buy it and keep it in the box, but even open, that's gonna be a pretty big set. But look at this box. As you can see, this box measures 33 inches in length and height-wise, it's about nine inches tall. Big box here, but it's gotta be big in order to house all of the action figures of Leonardo along with all of their bases. Inside this box, we have the original Mirage Comics Leonardo, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo from the classic cartoon series or the original toy line. We have the movie star Leonardo from the original movies. We have Next Mutations Leonardo from the uh, short-lived series from Saban. We have our 2003-era Leonardo from the very cool Fox Kids cartoon series. We have the fast-forward version, which was the next incarnation of the Fox Kids series. Then we have our current Nick Turtles release and the most recent uh, movie version of Leonardo. You might notice that missing from this box, um, which would probably count as one of the iconic variations, is the 2006 CGI movie version of Leonardo. Unfortunately, Playmates was hoping to include it, but could not because the original molds were destroyed by the factory in China. Well, the reason why he's not there is, is the tooling for it. Uh, got destroyed somehow in China, so not quite sure what the background story is on that. That's that awful. Awesome. Yeah, it was a real bummer to learn that news back at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, so if you guys were wondering why that version wasn't included in this set, it's definitely the one missing that probably should have been in here, and unfortunately it's just, it couldn't happen, which is a real bummer. Now, if we rotate this around to the back side of the box, um, it's kind of neat. It gives you a little bit of a story, a little bit of history on each of the versions of Leonardo and gives us images of all of the different versions as well. So you can see uh, we've got the original Mirage comic Leo here. Uh, of course, got the red bandana because they all had red bandanas in the original comic books. We got an image from the old cartoon series, an image of them from the original movie. Um, the next mutation image is the one that I find kind of funny uh, because instead of including an actual picture of the next mutation Leo from the TV series, we've got this artwork representation of him, which I think, I'm not positive, but it looks like a, a, like a modern piece of artwork, like it was new for this package. Maybe not, um, but I was kind of wondering why they didn't include the actual photo from this TV series, but maybe it's a licensing thing with Saban. That's the only thing I could think of. But of course, this is the uh, card art that was on the 2003 series. We got the fast forward Leo, we got current Nick Turtles, and then the, uh, an image from the movie. So kind of neat just seeing all of the images of Leo on the back of the box. All right, so enough about the packaging. Let's open this set up and take a look at the Leonardos inside and do a little bit of comparison time to their original releases. All right, so this is our history of Leonardo set outside of the box. Uh, it's a bit of a chore getting this thing unwrapped because there's a lot of twist ties, a lot of little rubber bands, um, little plastic trays behind the figures to keep them straight in the box. So. Just be prepared for that. It's gonna take you a little bit of time to get that all undone and all those little rubber bands off and everything. But uh, once you get it out of the box, this is actually a really nice display piece. Uh, I love that we've got this nice little cardboard backer here and that that's not just part of the window box. This is actually part of the display. So nice little cardboard backer uh, that has the logos of each of the different incarnations of the Ninja Turtles. And then, then we've got these really great plastic sewer lid bases here that each of the figures are standing on. Uh, so this is really cool. This, even out of the box, uh, which actually might be a little bit easier to display, um, is still gonna look really cool up on your shelf or uh, anywhere that you want to display it. It's a very, very nice piece. Few things that I want to talk about with the base before we get on to the figures itself. 
If you flip this around to the underside, you're gonna notice that each of the turtles are screwed into their bases at the feet. There are tiny little screws that hold each of the figures in place. If you want, you could take a screwdriver, you can unscrew each of those little screws, and you can remove the turtles from the bases just fine. Each of these are full on action figures. So if you want to, you can remove the figures from the bases. However, I believe the screws are there because this was absolutely meant to be more of a display piece for the collectors. So they don't come off of the bases just by pulling them. They are screwed into the bases. In addition to that, it does appear that each little section are screwed to each other, again, with the same types of screws. So if you really wanted to get in there and just take this thing apart, you could section off each one of those pieces if you wanted to. Um, so that's just something worth noting. It is also kind of cool to see on the ends here. There's some little peg holes and covered up on this side are some pegs. I believe that those are there just in case Playmates decides to release more sets for the other three turtles down the line. So that way we would be able to connect all of these together to make one really long, massive display. So kind of cool to see that they've got that in mind. Um, now they have not announced that, but it's cool to see that it looks like it could fit that way when all is said and done. So all of those figures, like I said, they are attached to the bases. The bases have the ability to slightly swivel. You can see I'm kind of rotating them side to side. They don't have a lot of motion, not a great range of motion, but it's kind of cool that you can kind of swivel them side to side just a little bit there um, so that they don't have to all be looking straight on if you don't want them to. And again, each of the figures are still fully articulated exactly as their original counterparts were, and they do all come with accessories that are removable. So these are still toys, which is great. They're not just little statues. They're just attached to the bases with screws. Um, and each of the bases look different too. That's one thing that's really cool. Each of the little sewer lids or little display bases are different under each one of the turtles. So little designs that are kind of worked in there. So with that being said, we've got to look at our full base. Let's go individually and kind of compare to their vintage counterparts. Okay, we're gonna start things off with the Mirage Leonardo. Um, now, the thing about this is this is actually a very recent release from Playmates Toys. These just came out. So the figure that is positioned here in this display base seems to be unchanged. It's exactly the same as the release that we already got. So you can see I got my standalone figure standing right next to him here. The colors look the same. The sculpt is exactly the same. He's got the same accessories. Uh, everything functions exactly as it was before. So if you already picked up those Mirage Turtles, you know what to expect with our first release on the stand here. Moving on down, this brings us to the original Leonardo, one of those classic action figures. If you grew up with Ninja Turtles like me, this was the turtle that you played with for a long time. This was our turtles back in the day. Um, and of course, Playmates Toys has been releasing reissues of these original turtles for some time. So again, this is pretty much the same as what you can find in stores on single cards. This right here is my vintage Leonardo that I'm pulling out here for comparison time. So you can see him standing side by side. The skull do appear to be the same. Um, they're obviously using those same kind of molds now. Um, obviously the colors on my vintage one are very faded. He's been quite played with, but kind of cool seeing them side by side. He just comes with the katanas, but everything else about this guy is what you would expect of a vintage Leonardo action figure. Next up is Movie Star Leonardo. This was the line of turtles that were based on those original movies, and they are actually some of the ones that are most loved by uh, folks who played with these original figures. These were very, very cool back in the day. Uh, he looks great as far as the sculpt and everything. It appears to be the same. However, this is the one that is the most changed from the vintage figure. I'm gonna bring in my vintage Movie Star Leo here for posing. Um, the bandana on mine is a little wild. It, it, some of them came like that, where they was kind of blown up like that. Um, um, but as you can see, there are other differences here. Um, I actually like the positioning of the bandana on the new one better, by the way. But a few things that I can really point out that are different. First and foremost, his belt is missing. I don't know why that is. He's the only figure in this set that is missing a belt. So I don't know if that was a mistake with Playmates or what happened, but he should definitely have a belt with a sword sheath on his back like the vintage one here. Uh, the other thing that's different is the paint deco on the actual figure itself. You'll notice that they have those little spots worked onto the sculpt on this vintage one. The spots are missing on the new one, except for the black ones on the head. 
And lastly, this figure is made of a harder plastic like all of the other turtles, rather than the rubber soft plastic that these original ones were made from. The vintage ones had this softer rubber plastic because they were supposed to feel lifelike. <laughs> um, so that is not the case with the new one. He is done in the harder plastic. Still a really great looking figure. I just really, if anything was to change, I really wish he had that belt. Um, the fact that he's missing the belt is a bit of a bummer. Next up down the line is the next mutation, Leonardo. This, of course, is based on the live action TV series from Saban. It was sort of like the Power Rangers era of Ninja Turtles. Uh, it's weird and wacky, definitely not my favorite incarnation of the Turtles, but it had a pretty fun toy line. Uh, and as you can see, this one here looks pretty great. He just comes with the one sword, but it's the big, weird, silly sword that's got the action feature. Uh, those weapons were just not very good. <laughs> But he's got it, um, and he should, because that's what the vintage figure came with. So everything else about him looks pretty great. I think the colors look good. Um, I've got this version of the from the actual vintage line, but you notice he's wearing a different outfit. This is actually one of the variants. So not a great comparison, but I can at least show you stylistically uh, the new version in the pack still meshes up with the vintage one. So pretty cool. All right, this is, we're gonna move on down to the Fox Kids version, the 2003 era Leonardo. This was a great series, and this was uh, the Turtles' real first comeback, I would say, after the whole vintage era and, and next mutation, if you count that. Um, but this was a great run, gave us a really uh, wide array of new action figures, and I really love the designs of the Turtles in this. And as you can see, this uh, version here looks pretty great. Uh, if I compare them to my actual release that came out back in 03, you can see there's not a lot of differences. The colors are slightly different. Uh, I will say there's a bit more details on the actual original release. The belt and the knee pads and arm pads had a great amount of shading that the new one is lacking. You can see it's just a straight black belt where we had shading on the original one. Also, the handles to the weapons were fully painted. This was like the only era of Ninja Turtles that had fully painted weapons. The new one, not fully painted. They are straight gray instead of the nice shiny silver uh, with the brown handles on the original one. So paint skipped a little bit, um, but you know what? The 2003 era was like a great era for toys altogether. Things were much more detailed back then uh, and they weren't as expensive because materials just didn't cost as much. So unfortunately things are a little bit more lacking now, but overall still a pretty good representation of this original turtle in this new set. That's gonna bring us to Fast Forward, which was the uh, second iteration of the Fox Kids line. Uh, he's the only one in the set that I don't have an original figure to compare to, but he looks pretty great. He comes with his unique katana blades there, as you can see, uh, really good colors all the way through. I do wanna say that for the most part, uh, the paint in this set is pretty great. They didn't really skimp on a lot at all. There's great colors all the way through. Um, so it's pretty cool getting the flat, fast forward version of Leo here. Something that I didn't already have and he looks pretty great. I like him. All right, if you're a collector of the current line, this guy is very familiar to you. This is the Nick Turtles version, and he is based on the mold that came out when this line first kicked off, which is a great, great series of turtles. I really, really love the sculpts, the articulation, everything about those. Now, if I bring in my original release, you will see there are some differences with the version in this set. Uh, namely, in the colors, the paint is a little different, the blue used on the bandana is different. The big difference is the eyes. Uh, the eyes have way too much white paint glopped on on the new one. And there's actually some carded versions in the stores that are looking like this now. Uh, I don't really like that. It looks much better on here. But aside from that, the rest of the figure matches up pretty great. Uh, he even has all of the uh, bandana, uh, all of the um, wraps and everything on his hands are all fully painted, which is great. No skipping on paint. Uh, only weirdness is with the eyes, but the rest of them looks pretty good. Exactly what you would expect from these current releases. And then of course, that is going to bring us to our Michael Bay uh, turtle, <laughs> our Leonardo from the most recent live action movie. Uh, again, these are very recent figures and nothing seems to have changed from the original release of the figure from last year uh, to this version that is in the set right now. And again, those are on store shelves right now as well. So no, no big differences. Um, but of course, why would there be? They're already producing this guy. So it's the same figure just thrown into this set. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new TMNT history of Leonardo box set. Um, overall, I do think this is a really cool idea. I've always been a big fan of displaying all of the primary versions of the Turtles. In fact, that's the way I already have them displayed on my shelf right now. Um, it's, you know, I love comparing figures, obviously. Comparison time is one of the things I love doing in my videos. So this set right here, kind of comparing all of the different main versions of Leonardo is a pretty great idea. 
Now this set is definitely made more for the collectors than those who are wanting to buy this and play with the toys, I think. Not that you can't play with the toys because these are all still fully functioning action figures with accessories. But seeing as how they're packaged with this really great display base, the fact that they are screwed into the display base and it's a bit of a higher price point, I definitely think Playmates had the collector in mind with this set. Um, I don't really have too much to complain about. Uh, with the paint and the missing belt on movie star Leonardo is the biggest letdown in the set. Everything else seems to be pretty good, pretty much on par with what we would expect. Uh, of course, the biggest difference here, the biggest missing piece in this set is the lack of the 2006 Leonardo from the CGI movie. But again, unfortunate circumstances meant that we could not get that figure in this particular set. Uh, all of the other ones are here. I think the only other one that might have been cool to add is like the Toon Turtle Leo from the Vintage line, but that's just me kind of uh, nitpicking a little bit. Overall, I think it's a really fun set. I think if you're a Turtles collector, especially a fan of Leonardo, this is a really nice piece to add to your display on your shelf. Uh, very, very cool display ability with this, and that's what I like about it the most. Um, as of right now, they are only making Leonardo. Playmates Toys said back at Comic-Con that if this sells well, it's one of those situations where maybe they'll look into making the other three turtles in the same set but right now no plans for it just leonardo is all we're going to get it's in stores for the holiday season likely you're not going to see these beyond that i think once they're out of the stores and sold out you probably aren't going to see them refreshed they're retailing for around 89.99 i believe so it's definitely a high price point item but um, they're being sold at toys r us stores and if you've got the toys r us wish book look for the coupons in there because you can find coupons for like 15 percent off your purchase ten dollars off your purchase uh that'll help save you a little bit of cash on this so definitely look for that uh in your wish book that'll help save some money so great piece if you are a big fan of leo or the turtles i would recommend checking it out at least looking at it in the store see if it's something that you'd want to add to your collection Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more Ninja Turtles videos, plus many more figure reviews from me. Until next time, my friends.